Hey there Internet, Beaver Chip here. Uh, this is part three of a tutorial video on how to build a combination lock with security door. Um, we're going to be talking about the green section here. Uh, part one was an overview and part two was the yellow blocks. Um, but this part, the green blocks, is the power source that gets the whole thing running. Um, it's attached to the button here and what it does is it sends a short, not too short, but a short pulse into uh, the memory cell, which that's the blue stuff we'll get to later. Um, but the whole function of the green part here is to get one short pulse into um, the blue there. So if you watch this piece of wire right here that my crosshairs are on, watch that while I press the button, you'll see a short pulse, like a half second pulse, um, that gets the whole thing running. So I'll show you how to build it. Alright, this is the kind of step-by-step -step how to build this. Um, I've already placed um, part of the yellow build next to it, just so you have reference kind of where I'm putting my button. Um, I put it just to the left of the levers, um, and I just want you to see how close they were together. Um, since they're right next to each other, um, I need to run a repeater out of this block to keep the signal separated um, and run some wire down away. Even though this wire looks like it's connected to this repeater, it's not. It's actually connected to this one. Um, so if I hit the button here, I should be able to see that my wire gets lit up for a brief moment there. So now that I have this signal separated from uh, the yellow um, combination lock area, um, I'm going to run this into a memory cell logic gate and a repeater at the same time. Um, so if you saw my intermediate level videos you know how to build a memory cell, just a basic memory cell. And it looks like um, one block or two blocks with um, one block in between them set at a corner to each other. And uh, you put a torch like that, facing each other on the insides of the block. Some red, redstone wire to complete this square here. And lastly, I'm going to have a uh, repeater looping around into the second block over here. And then an output. This would go off to the blue section of the drawing down there, um, the large memory cell. Um, this is just going to create a short pulse to run into that large blue memory cell. So if you watch this wire here, we should, should see a half second pulse. And actually, uh, one last thing we need to do is bump this repeater up to level 4. So level 4 repeater there, and all of these repeaters are level 1. Alright, so if I hit this, we get about a half second pulse out of our output there. And I'll run back over to uh, the drawing over here and we'll take a look at um, the main drawing. So you can see it's the exact same build button running out with uh, a memory cell and a repeater and um, if you watch right here you see that short half second pulse. That's it for part three. Um, part four will build the blue part and we'll connect yellow and green to blue. So you'll see all those little connections, um, how they go in together exactly.